Hello viewers, welcome to DG Shala. I am Anuradha, Assistant Professor, National Institute of Rural Development, Panchayati Raj. Today we will be discussing about the UPI, Unified Payment Interface. Unified Payment Interface is a system that powers multiple bank accounts into a single mobile application. You can use this app for accessing all your different bank accounts. UPI can be used for all kinds of merchant payments, bill payments, over the counter payments, bills sharing with friends etc. Any smartphone user who has account with UPI partnered bank can download the app and use the UPI app. Let us see the UPI registration process. So you have to download the app at the play store. So go to play store, choose the app which you want to download because you will find multiple options. If you are using a dual sim mobile device then make sure you choose the sim and the number which is registered with your bank account and you have to register into UPI by giving your details, first name, last name, email address, date of birth, gender and reg confirm registration and now you have to register your mobile number and you have to create your password and confirm your password and confirm your registration then you will find the UPI registration is done on your mobile and you will find the screen like this. Now you have to register your bank account, select your bank, give your account number and submit. Your account has been registered successfully. Now it will request you to create your virtual ID. Virtual payment address is given to all the users of UPI. It is a unique identifier and it is essential to transfer the funds from the bank account. So it is used as the identification of the user. In order to create a virtual account, for example, if my name is Anuradha, Anuradha at the rate SBI or my 10 digit mobile number at the rate SBI or my Aadhaar card number at the rate SBI can be my virtual ID. Once your virtual address is generated, now you have to generate PIN. So you have to create a PIN. For that you will receive the OTP, one time password and SMS. Now enter 4 digit M PIN of your choice. You have to give your details of your debit card last 6 digit numbers. and submit. Now you will receive a confirmation of successful registration of MPIN. Never share your MPIN with anyone. So you will find your details on the screen. You can follow the same process and link your multiple bank accounts with UPI virtual address. Now we will see how to send money through UPI. Log into your mobile app, choose the option of sending money. Now enter the virtual address of the person to whom you want to send the money, enter the amount and submit. You will find the confirmation screen like this. Now the transaction is completed and you will receive a successful transaction message. In order to make a successful transaction 
on UPI, you need to have a smartphone with internet facility and bank details for the registration.